beards, blades, and hair. You are not screwed. You got a lot of feedback. People recommending treating the room. And I also got some feedback saying, hey, Bantrew, idiot, liar. You know, there are USB shotgun microphones. So I looked on my show and I had one. (laughs) I had one and I wasn't aware of it. So I, this is the last time I'm recording in my bathroom ever. I don't like doing it, but I recorded a sample in my bathroom. Hopefully this clears things up and uh, provides a bit of additional context And I can't believe I just said, uh, I'm disgusted with myself. Take it away, Past Bandrew. This is a follow-up to last week's question about a USB shotgun microphone. I said that I wasn't aware of any, and I wasn't, but it was quickly pointed out to me that there are some, and I just so happen to have one. So I thought I would do a follow-up and include a sample of that. Right now, I'm about three feet away from my phone, the iPhone X. Yes, still using that. This is the internal microphone, and let me switch to the USB mic. And now you are hearing the Rode VideoMic Go 2, which is running out over a USB-C to USB-A cable. That is connected into an Apple camera adapter, which accepts USB-A and then goes into Lightning. And I am again recording this into the Sure Motive app because Rhodes video software doesn't work on the iPhone 10. I did finally upgrade. I should get it later this week, but here is how this sounds about nine inches away. Just a quick sample to say, yeah, I said I wasn't aware of any. I wasn't, but it was brought to my attention that one exists and I could provide a sample to you so you can determine if this is acceptable to you. But something that was also pointed out here, I'll just back up a little bit as my AC turns on. If you have the ability to, treat your room. Of course, it's a bathroom. You don't want anything permanent because I can't imagine you want fabric permanently affixed to the wall that absorbs moisture and then just rots and molds. That's probably not ideal. But if you can have some temporary treatment, moving blankets, if you can get some baffles, something, that you can just pop up while you're recording. I'll try that, I'll try that right now, one second. Okay, here is how it sounds without any kind of treatment up. It is still very reverberant. I did move the camera around to try to make space for a little bit of the sound panels, which I will be using. These are just some discount auto mute panels that I picked up when they were on sale. So here is how it sounds without any treatment. Let's hear it with a little bit of treatment. And now here is how it sounds with a couple of these Automute panels directly in front of me. It's still not gonna sound great. If I had a moving blanket, which I guess I do, I could throw that on the floor as well and try to get a little bit better sound. But this is just a quick down and dirty test to give you an example of how it sounds. Okay, I hope that was helpful. I just wanted to provide an update because new information has come to light and I didn't want to leave you hanging, feeling hopeless, so super duper. I'm done filming in my bathroom, hopefully forever.